Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of the Becky Choice Podcast Show. Thank you so much for tuning in and spend a moment to listen to this episode. Today, I don't really have any scripting. I didn't write up anything. I wasn't really prepared for this episode, but doing some research on YouTube online to educate, to learn about stuff, to look at other people's contents to give me some inspirations and ideas. So I was just simply searching for tummy after baby on YouTube. I was expecting to see what people are posting. I was curious about what other people are posting when they search this term tummy after baby. Is it exercises? Is it transformation? Is it whatnot? But what I found very surprising, and I don't know if it's the algorithm or whatnot, but it actually showed me a lot of tummy tuck, tummy tuck procedure, tummy tuck before and after, tummy tuck after baby, tummy tuck.、Um, The operation in itself, and lots of people talk about the experience after t- tummy tuck. So, and then I thought about, oh, you know what? I've never really talked about my intake, like my feelings on tummy tuck. I usually talk about tummy tuck, the procedures, you know, the risk. How long it will take to recover? What is it that I need to be prepared? I'm not against it. I'm not for it. I'm not against it. Well, we can talk more about that, like how I feel about it, and that's what I wanted to get into in this episode today is to really talk about my take, my feelings on tummy tuck, and and、um, to share with what I think. You know, I share about like the tummy tuck procedure and how it works and the risk and the factors involved. But I read, I've never really talked about how I feel about it. So yeah, so I was looking at YouTube and just saw so many tummy tuck, and I was surprised to see Bob Spilty. Uh, if you are Asian, you probably know her. She is really, really big on YouTube. Might have followed her since high school. I think I followed her. Well, maybe not high school. I was still a little. She, I think she just started her channel. She is probably just probably around thirty something years old. But anyways, like she is huge on YouTube. Bob Spilty. She used used to talk about makeup, and she is this、uh, Asian lady, and and she talks about makeup, hair, and all of that.、Um, and then she got married. She had two kids.、Um, I think. If I'm don't get me wrong, if you're her fans, I think she recently got separated with her husband. Maybe not recent recently, but maybe like f- f- three four years ago. And I know when she got pregnant with her two babies, she had a really really huge pregnant、uh, rounded belly. From what she talked about, right? She showed her videos on YouTube, and she's very transparent, and candid about everything in her life. And that's what I really love about her、uh, YouTube channels. But I don't really followed her. So if there's something I'm not saying it right, you're her fan. Please don't get me wrong. But I, but for fact that I know, you know, she showed her before and after about her pregnancy baby, pregnant looking belly, and then she, it was really big. And I know she had some diastasis recti. She exercised it. She tried to accept it. And I think two years ago she did a tummy tuck. Finally, I think she wanted to do something for herself, and she just. Does not like the hanging skin, despite exercises, despite losing the weight, and working on herself on her on on the on the stretch marks. She she really disliked the hanging skin, droopy belly button. So she went to do a tummy tuck, and I saw her tummy tuck result, and it was really really good. And I I can tell you, I'm jealous about it. Like I my belly looked just about like how she looked before. Before she got into the tummy tuck glitch, it's the the round belly button is droopy. There's lots of loose skin. If you look at it close up, lots of lots of stretch marks, and my skin are just like so thin. She talked about it in her t- tummy one of her tummy tuck、uh, videos.、Uh, she talked about it. it's like、um, for other people their skins are thick, but her skin and my skin are paper thin. They're so thin. It's skin. It's so thin and and it's like dripping down. Like whenever if you have seen one of my posts on Instagram when I do like plank, when I do anything that、um, I have to go against gravity, those skin just like dripping down to the floor. It's I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the look of it. I mean, does it bother me? Ah,、uh, you know, if I don't really compare to other people, and I just think about myself, it doesn't really bother me to be honest. But because I was looking at, at and researching about topic and contents and seeing what other people are posting, and I see her, oh my goodness, like she looks so good after the surgery.、Um, everything is smooth. She looks like she has abs left now, and then、um, her scar healed up really nicely. It's so low cut. It's like just underneath her underwear line. 
you can't really see it unless you really wear like a low, low, low cut、uh, bikini. But you know, I mean, yeah, some people would, and some people still don't care about it, right? And but but for me, I wouldn't just wear a bikini, and and it's so it's not easy to see that you have a tummy tuck. It looks so good. The 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 belly button is there now. The skin aren't dripping over it, and when she hangs over, like when she um go grab something, those skin. They don't hang anymore. It's flat. Looks like she has abs, and she, and then I was looking at other lady who did a tummy tuck as well. Um, you know they all look really good. And then especially for Bob's, because I was watching some of her videos about her talk about um her、uh, experience with the pro op pro operation, and it was so smooth for her. You know, after just a few days, she was already feeling a lot better, and even after a month, she was already like doing like doing a lot of the things already. So. It, it the it seems like some people are really lucky in that sense. Like it seems like some people have really good experience and they、um, get to recover really quickly. And I'm sure she did a lot of due diligence on the surgeon she did the tummy tuck with and did lots of research on how to help her cope with the pain, pain management, and how to cope with、uh, healing it faster. Um, have the scar healing faster and have the swelling less. So those were things that she talked about in her video and how to manage it. And and so yeah, I was thinking, oh my gosh, you know what looks so good? I, you know, should I should I should I do a tummy tuck myself too? Because, I mean, you know, if I tell you like, oh, I'm really happy, I'm so so happy with the way I look, then then it's a lie. <laughs> I mean, as a lady, you know, who doesn't want to look good? Who doesn't want to have smooth skin? Who doesn't want to have like a really bikini Victoria model kind of looking body, right? I know there's a whole movement of love your body, love the way you are. I mean, I mean, unless you're really truly happy, then it's fine. But like, you you know, you always wanted to strive for better, not to a point that is sick, not to a point that is you are stressing yourself, but like in a way that you wanted to strive for better, bettering your health, bettering yourself. And don't say you love yourself if you're two hundred pounds, right? It doesn't make any sense. Don't say yourself you love you love yourself if if you are if you're obese, right? If you're overweight, those aren't healthy. Um, but you know, I'm on a really healthy scale. I have been working out for the last four years. I have done a lot on the stretch mark, loose skin, and you know the loose skin is still there. It's inevitable, and and the stretch mark you can see it from time to time.、Um, you know, depending on the angle, right? Depending on what you wear, and like、uh, you know, sometimes you're showering, you're looking at it, and sometimes you pass the by the mirror and you see it. It's it's annoying. And not to mention the the fact that you do get bloated very easily when it comes to the stretch and loose muscles. It it's just like those elastic band, right? Like they you can heal your DR yet the gap is closed. the The depth of the diastasis is a lot shallower. It's like a nail deep. So if you if you insert the fingers in, and it's really shallow, it's like there is strength there. I mean, I can do a lot of exercises. Not a problem for me. But a lot of people don't realize closing the gap and like flatten it to tummy and say flat. It's 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 not the same thing, and it, it has a lot to do with the internal health, the guts, and also just the muscles itself. You cannot de- deny the fact that the muscles are really stretched out and and thin. It's depending on a person, from a person to a person. But imagine, and I was looking, even there was a tummy tug. I said tummy after baby. I searched, but there is. It, it the YouTube is showing me a teenager get a tummy tuck after losing one hundred pounds, and she lost a hundred pound, and yeah, she looked a lot better. Like you know, overall she looks so much healthier, and she is really active now. She loves weightlifting exercises, and she is so much better functionally, right? But that hanging belly skin, it looks like as if she has like. Like a few pounds of just skin, like hanging in front of her belly, and she cannot really tuck it into her pants. If she do- does tuck it in, it you know it just make your lower lower belly, like your underwear area, looks like it's bulging there. So like so, she decided to do a tummy tuck, and 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 even after that, like yeah, she looks amazing. Like she could, she says she can finally wear a short waisted bikini that she has always wanted to do in her entire life. And yeah, these are the things that really. Mm, sometimes makes me wonder. Oh, should I go for it? Right? Um, yeah. I mean, there's so many factors around doing a tummy tuck. Realistically, if I'm telling you, yeah, I'm thinking about the risk 
of doing the surgery. I'm thinking the time and have to spend on researching and finding the doctor to do it right. And I'm just thinking about sure the cost. Uh, it's ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollar, right? Like I'm thinking about that, right? Although you know, money is money. You know, I, you know, if if it's something that you you need to take care of, I don't mind spending it. But at the same time, also I think it's the risk involved, and also, like, do I really need it? Like, is this something that just I wanted, or is it something that I need it, right? And I think it's more, and I can guarantee it is a want thing more than a need thing. I don't need it. Like, why do I need it? I I want it because I wanted to always look to have a flat tummy, and it's hard to, to be like that right now. Like only when maybe on certain days of the month when I'm like feeling really good, hormone is on, on place, and like um. I've been eating all the right kind of food the entire month. Then yeah, the the belly stay flat. But most of the time, most of the day in the afternoon, by the evening, you know your muscles get tired and they do get stretched out more easily because the muscles are tired from standing, from walking, from exercising, from doing the day to day stuff. Do I want it? Yes. <laughs> But I'm not gonna do it because I don't need it, and I cannot make sense to myself why I I need it. Yeah, it's not like I need to impress anybody. My my husband doesn't doesn't care. Um, so it's it at the end of the day is myself, right? How I see myself, yeah, how I see myself, and I think that's one big thing for a lot of the moms out there. It's like how they see themselves and actually truly appreciate the the way you are, and I truly appreciate the way. I am right now because I worked so hard to get here, and I am appreciating all the efforts I have put to nourish my body, to improve my health, to to heal my diastasis recti, and and then like it, yeah. These are the things that if I had done the surgery way before, you know, it would never get me to where I am right now. Like the it, it I wouldn't appreciate it. But let's say right now, if I do go and do one, and it's it's really down to just like yes, I want it, and I, I want to look that way, and and that's the thing. I can't even talk about it. Like I can't even think about it in my head. It's like, yeah, I want it, but I cannot justify. Like I cannot. Like I don't need it. Like, sure. Like if it's no risk, painless, and like. Yeah, exactly. No risk involved. It's just some money. I, th- I would do it. Right. <laughs> no time to recover. I I would do it. Sure, I would do it. No no risk, but all those risks outweighed the want for me. I I guess yeah. For me, like I don't want to have to risk about the surgery, the the, the um, going under the knife, and not not that I care about the scar because. I mean, for the for those people, I can't even tell. So, but it's about just being true to who I am and and appreciating what I've done to my body. And of course, I love my babies, and I don't mind having to do it over and over again. If to to have a scar, to have um, the stretch belly, to have them, I don't mind at all. Like. For for all I care, you know, I can, I can look pregnant forever if I can have healthy babies. I don't care. Um, yeah, it's not like I'm in pain. It's not like I yeah. So it's purely purely what I want from for me, if that's what I want. So again, so I I'm not scripting this. So like I know maybe I'm rambling a lot. I'm just thinking in my head like oh, head, like what is it that I want? Right. I I I can tell for sure. I I would not do it. Not. Unless I I am in a place where like I don't know, <laughs> divorce or something. Touch on wood, but I'm not. <laughs> Never would would it happen, and I'm like trying to find another man or something. Like maybe try to impress him, but I still wouldn't because I appreciate who I am. I appreciate the Becky Choi I am. I appreciate the me. Like I love myself, right? I love the way I am, and I do. So I don't need to impress anybody. I think it really comes down to like the comparison. And when you compare to other people,、um, you steal the joy in yourself. Comparison is a thief of joy. If you have heard of that saying, it's like the more you compare, the more you get into depressed states. The more you get feel unhappy because you are counting on so and so, and you are comparing yourself on other people's goods. 
and then you feel bad about yourself, and then you wonder why you can't be like her, and then you go on that downward spiral. And I think it happened to me a little bit as I was scrolling through the YouTube. But it's actually a really good lesson for me to reflect on、um, why I don't want to do it. And this is very clear to me. I can't even I can't even think of a reason why. Like it's a want. It's a pure want thing. Like. But it, you know, it doesn't impact me anyway. But I still wouldn't do it unless it's like instant, <laughs> one sec, like like you know, lo- no risk involved, no risk. I can't, I can't, I can't risk myself for something like this. But for other moms, I like again, I'm not against it. Like you know, for other moms who have issues and who have tried, and like Bob, so you know, was showing you earlier, telling you her her story earlier. Like she is in a year where she wanted to just like. Take care of herself and be in a better mental space, and she has already done the things that she needed to do, right? Workouts and、um, doing, doing nutritions and exercises and 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 massaging her tummy and all of that, and she has done all of that. And you know what? You know what? it it is in a place she is, she can do whatever she likes, and I think she has to say to do that. But like, if you are, if you're listening to this, and if you're like just finding it so hard to accept your body, and you're just newly postpartum, and you really haven't really done too much or consistently doing it, and your place where you compare with other, don't compare with other people. Do what you needed to do first, and really reflect on yourself and like see what you value the most and. What brings you joy and what brings you happiness, and what is it that you care the most?、Um, you know, because you have to remember if you are th- if you are thinking that oh, you know what, doing the surgery, I can just not skip the exercises, get rid of the fat. It's not gonna happen. It's not a fat redo surgery. Tummy tuck is just to help you to.、Um, Bring your muscles back together, tighten up your core, and get rid of the loose skin, right? But if you are still in a bad,、um, not a good place to start with, right? If you're experiencing back pain due to the extra weight, or maybe you haven't really done anything, right? It, it, you might regret. Okay, I I'm not gonna curse, but like you might regret doing it because I do also hear a lot of the other side of the story and. Which、um, I'm not gonna research on it because I probably will see a lot of bloody images on on the YouTube. I already see some of them. It's like so bloody looking. I don't know why it's approved on YouTube, but like I have heard a lot of YouTube、um, horror stories about these these kind of cosmetic surgery because it is a cosmetic surgery, and some patient die on the on the table on the surgery table, and some people have got sexual assaulted and. And、uh, just horrible, horrible stories. So like you just have to be weighing in your options and see is it the laziness in you, right? I'm not gonna call. I mean, I yes, I'm calling you out. You you need to really face yourself. Is it that, or is you just so you just wanted to go do a quick route, but really think about the consequence, like the weight and the pros and the cons, and、um, really do your due diligence. So yeah, I'll leave it as is here, and、I'll、share my thought and feelings with you because I'm really, I guess, I haven't really shared it anywhere. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do enjoy it, give me a thumb up, share with me how you feel, and whether you're also doing a tummy tuck or not,、um, like these moms I see on YouTube. And I wanted to see your before and after and your recovery procedure. I do also have another episode. I think it's、uh, the anniversary episode. I think episode forty.、Uh, I spoke with Anne and Mark.、Um, she,、uh, we talked about diastasis recti because she also had a she did a tummy tuck surgery. And 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 what's interesting. Thing for her is that if you had tummy tuck, if you have consulted tummy tuck before, the surgeon will tell you not to、uh, have another baby because it will just ripped open again, the mesh inside or whatever, the,、um, the stitches will ripped open again, and and it's you just have to do it over again. And so she actually was unexpectedly surprised by、uh, and blessed with the fourth baby after her tummy tuck.、Um, so she shared her story about that and her insights and intake. So if you wanted to hear more about this. You can go ahead to the anniversary episode. I believe is episode forty, and you can hear what she talks,、uh, what what she, how she feels about it. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.